guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new so today i'm making a birthday card for my mother so i'm gonna be using my birthday die from the works um so i couldn't link it but it is very similar to the long form one so i don't know what i was doing here i was just like f thinking if i've got everything or not so yeah normally you don't see all of this but like, I don't know what's going on with my filming at the moment. It's just been a little bit chaotic. So, like I said, I'm using the Happy Birthday die that I got from The Works and The Perfect Birthday, which I got from Sunny Studios. And then, I think that's all I use, to be honest. Um, so I'm just working out what images I want and, you know, I'm going to work out the placement of everything. Um, and then I'm just choosing my sentiment. So I'm going to put... I hope your birthday is perfect um just underneath where the sentiment is um and then when i do decide to die cut my sentiment i die cutted it on some cartridge paper that wasn't the best idea because it is quite flimsy um so i ended up having to recut it and you'll see me tear the first one so the end of the reason why i had to recut it um so i ended up using the cardstock that is actually used for my card bases because it's just a tiny bit thicker and yeah so here's me playing around with the placements of everything and i was deciding on which animals i wanted and you know it's just so hard to choose between these little kitties so i don't know if anybody else is like me but i seriously struggle with my parents birthdays just because you know they've got everything they've needed you know there's just nothing that they physically need anymore because if it's an emergency or something they'll end up going out and buying it anyways so literally every time it comes to their birthday i get stuck and i'm like what the heck do i buy them you know so i like asked my mom the other week before she went on holiday what did she want for her birthday so it gave me like just short of three weeks to find something for her and she's like oh i don't want anything and i'm like i can't do that if i don't get you something you can guarantee you're gonna pull me up on it like oh you didn't get me anything <laughs> you know I can't win so yeah I'm still struggling to figure out what I want to get her but anyways I am just going to color these in so this little one that I'm coloring in right now is supposed to be an imitation of our cat so at the moment obviously it's in a cattery because they're away but you know I'm trying to make it just look like Lulu um but it's kind of hard to do so because she has really weird markings so Anyways, I'm going to insert some music and I'll speed this process up just a little bit and I will talk to you guys when I start to assemble my card. So I'll see you then. Now 
once I've finished doing everything, as you can see, I've just added 3D foam adhesives on the back of the sentiment. I glued down the the other animals with just some glue. I apologize for the car right now. Um, it's a pain in the ass, honestly, seriously. I don't know what it is. Every time I do an air voiceover, it just always seems to pick up. Even if it's like midnight at night, it's just stupid. Anyways, I'm bringing in bubbles just to add some dimension to my card and I'm also bringing in glossy accents for the candle light. And then that's all I did for the card. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram. If you wish to do a collaboration where we do a color combination or a stamp or a die or something or a theme, then head over to my Instagram, message me through there. Um, I also have Spooky September going up. So if you want to join that, go over to my Instagram, ask me for more information about it, and I will let you guys know everything you need to. And until my next video, guys, stay safe and happy crafting. Bye, guys.